Hello subscribers, welcome to CML Theater Movie Review, and we're here to talk about The Final Girls. I really love this movie, I thought this movie was awesome, but let's dive straight into this. It starts off with this young lady named Max, played by Farminga, uh, Telsa Farminga, if, if my correct. She's also the girl that played on uh, American Horror Story in the first season, so I'm not talking about the other season, I'm talking the first season. But it starts off with her being Max, and you know, she's really struggling in school. And she's really going through a rough time because she lost her mom. And she was just really going through it. So a friend of hers, a friend brother of hers, wanted her to come to this um, little premiere of this movie that reminds you of Sleepaway Camp. And if you don't know what Sleepaway Camp is, it pays montage to Sleepaway, Sleepaway Camp. My, my voice like... <laughs> but anyway, um, she goes to the theater and she's like, first she's like, nah, I don't want to go. But then she's like, okay, why not? So she goes see the movie. You got guys in there drinking booze. You got somebody in there smoking. So the guy accidentally dropped the bottle by handing it to his friend. The bottle rolls. The guy smoking the weed or whatever. He drops the drops the the little flame from that into the and it lights the theater on fire. Then they have to find a way out. They couldn't find no exit, so they end up slicing the uh, screen and going through the screen. And now they're inside the movie. Now this is where the movie really gets interesting. They get there and I notice like every time that they sit still. The movie will keep repeating, so it'll go 98 minutes later. So you instantly, like, if you don't catch on the first time, you definitely will catch on the second time because it's like 98 minutes later. But it'll keep repeating until they get up and move. So once they got up and moved, that's when everything just like kept going. But the whole idea is for them to keep everyone alive, to keep everyone from dying, or keep everyone from having sex. Because every time someone has sex or they take their clothes off, they bring out the killer that reminds you of Jason Voorhees. Which is, that was really funny because you'll hear, kew, kew, kew. Ah, 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 ah. and it's crazy, like, they'll hear it before he even come. Like, they'll just randomly hear it from an area, and I really thought that was real good. And like I said, the the the, way, the cinematography of this movie was awesome, the actors was awesome, it definitely paid montage to the to the 70s horror slasher flicks. So let's give this movie a ring, shall we? Give this movie two thumbs up and a big ass smiley face. Oh, yeah. Mother and daughter relationship is really believable in this in this movie. So those for those two actresses, they did really good. I really take my hat off to them. They nailed it. I also like the parts where they was running in slow motion, and the mom was like, "What is happening?" And he was chasing them with the knife on fire in slow motion. I thought that was awesome. You guys gotta check it out. The final girls. Let me know what you think about it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. And to all my movie lovers, I love you.